reason for that. I want to make this real clear. To become a reader, it takes three things. The first thing it takes to become a reader is time. Kids will read when they're ready, not when you're ready. So those of you that are in Ontario and are talking about, oh, I'm sorry, in Alberta, I'm talking about testing children again in grade three. Some kids aren't ready to read in grade three. There's no need to test them. It's to label them and create reluctant readers. Kids will walk when they're ready. They'll talk when they're ready and they'll read when they're ready, not when you want them to. Kids need time. Second thing they need is a hero. Kids need a hero. My mom and dad were my heroes and they didn't give me the gift because they didn't realize it was my job. Problem is so many of our indigenous kids relate back to residential schools where their parents weren't readers for obvious reasons and they weren't there to pass on that hero gift of reading. I dropped the ball. My two sons are not big readers because of me, but my little girl is a voracious reader because of me. That's the second thing. Now here's the third thing and the reason we're here together today. To become readers, we need books. Do you know how many of our reserves in the North don't have books? I mean, they don't have a library, they don't. I met a 17 year old boy in Coal Lake one day and he told me he doesn't have and never has owned a single book. So come in my room, there's no, no books in my house. In fact, I don't know anybody in my circle of friends who's ever owned a book. No books, no reading. Kids have to have books. Here's where Achilles comes in. Here's where Good Minds comes in. We don't just want books. So when people say to me, I want to send all of our books up to Northern Reserves as a gift, I say, don't bother. Send them $10 instead. They don't want to read your books. I want to read books that, that I can see myself in that interest me. I don't want to read. There's not a reserve in Northern Manitoba or Northern Ontario or in the North where an elder's got their name on the waiting list for Lord of the Rings. Hobbits? Hobbits? As if. We have our own little people, but they're not hobbits. We have to see ourselves in books and for the first time ever, we're appearing. We're there. Where? Right now, Good Minds has got a plethora of books written by indigenous authors like me, whether we're Métis or whether we're Ojibwe, Anishinaabe people. There's, there's just a massive array of books that include us. When people can see themselves in a book, they'll want to read it. So kids have to identify with that book and they say, yeah, there I am. And then they'll want to read it. That's the first element. And if that poses a problem, the problem is this one. Go into our libraries and bookstores and tell me, how many books do we see for our, Filipi for our Filipino kids? Not a lot. And we can't do everything. That's one of the things that we can do is say, as a teacher, I'm, if I've got Filipino kids in my classroom, I say, hey, I need some books. And I go and I Google it and I look for them. Books have to include us. The second thing they have to be is they have to be accessible. If I can't read it, I won't read it, period. So you have to find a book that kids can read that includes them. And frankly, there's tricks that we do as authors and as storytellers to make that happen. And one of the tricks, frankly, is we write with poetry. And a lot of the books I've done use a sense of rhythm and rhyme to make reading a little easier for kids. I don't know. Step into the outer circle. Listen to the beating drum. Take my hand. Hold it tight. The thing you seek is soon to come. Everybody's smiling because our hearts all beat as one. Listen to the drum. It calls. The magic's here. It has begun. Hey, 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 ah, hey, oh, hey, ah. Hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 uh, hey, oh, uh. When at first I heard them, I was listening. I use a little bit of rhythm and rhyme first. Second thing, we use art. We use pictures. We use illustrators because let's be real clear for, I don't care what culture you are, images say a thousand things. So I do my books with partners who are visual artists. And I have just a, a ton of books that I've done with amazing artists from Alan Sapp. And in this case, of course, Christy Cameron. And I've been very, very lucky. And then I try to include music. So I've done them in our languages and I've worked with musicians. I've worked with Buffy St. Marie and I've worked with Nor. to include elements. If I could, I mean it, I'd have scratch and sniffs. So you could scratch and sniff sweet grass and you could smell natural tobacco if I could. And maybe one day it'll come to that. So books have to be accessible and they have to be inclusive. And uh, with all of that, uh, I can only say this to you, there is one source right now, the largest distributor of indigenous products in the world, right now in Brantford, Ontario, owned by a young man called Achilles uh, um, Gentle, and he's there for you anytime you want. So if it's not in person, reach out to them online. And of course, you can, you can get my new book that uh, is being launched next week, being released next week. Achilles not only has the book, but I think he's got a large number that are signed by me. And that makes it a little bit more valuable if you decide to ditch it on eBay or if you're lucky enough and I up and die next week. So here's my new book. Here's a quick reading. And I wanted to share with you a few thoughts about, about the book and 
maybe how to use it. And so let me start with this. If I'm a teacher working with, oh, by the way, I wrote the seven sacred teachings for all age groups. I wrote it for high school, for elders, and it went crazy i think we're in our sixth or seventh printing it's written in ojibwe it's written in Swamp, uh, swampy cree a chippewan slavey it's in uh it's in english it's absolutely spectacular and illustrated by one of the best artists in canada she's a, a, a metis ojibwe girl from out of Coke and called christy cameron and when this book did so well medicine wheel publishers here in victoria an amazing group of young, talented, passionate visionaries said, hey, can we do it for primary kids? And I said, not only can we, we should. There's, we can't get to them early enough. So it's very short, extremely, extremely attractive. And the telling is, is magical. So if I'm a teacher, the first thing I do is I sit my kids down in a circle. That's the way you tell a story, always in a circle, if you can. Ideally, it's outside with your two hands on mother earth. You put your two hands on mother earth and close your eyes. And if you're lucky enough, you'll feel her heartbeat. It says, you know, a child will say, I can feel a drum. It's, it's not a drum. It's her heartbeat. It's your heartbeat. She gave you life. And then you start to talk to them in these terms. This book goes like this. We are taught how to live, when to take, when to give. From our elders, we learn how the earth and sun turn. All their teachings are clear. All their lessons are dear. They're simple. They're fun. We just, we just learn from the sun. You don't need teachers or parents. Or let those kids go outside and learn in the most natural way. Look at the sun. Follow its progress. First, we sit in a round, our legs crossed on the ground, and we place our hands flat on our Mother Earth's back. With closed eyes, side by side, and our hearts open wide, we're many, yet one, waiting there for the sun. We're small, and we're weak. We're like the wolf, yet unique. We're humble. It's fun. We learn that from the sun. That's the first of the seven teachings. When you see that sunrise in the east, you'll see how small you are and you'll know you should be humble and you are born humble. The sun rises each day in the east as we pray. It's huge, it's strong. We're not big, it's wrong. If ever we think of ourselves as too special, look at the sun and we are not big, that's wrong. And the opposite of that humility, of course, is excess pride, saying we're number one. We're number one. As Indigenous people, we don't do that. I stand up with great pride and I say as a Canadian, we're not number one. We're number 483 and dropping. And we're proud to say that because life isn't a race. It's the state of mind. It's a thing that we create for our children. When the sun's south, we see, we have gifts, you and me. We're unique, everyone. And we learn that from the sun. When the sun is in the south, we have to have our, help our kids be honest with themselves. See who you are and build your life around your gift. Climb in that river and let that river take you. Don't swim upstream to get rich and to get famous. You're unique. Use the gift that creator gave you. She wants you to use that. And then when the sun's in the west, when the sun's in the west, where the sun go, when we look to the west, where the sun goes to rest, we are taught to respect from the old to the nest. And of course, in the West, buffalo represents, it represents respect. And the plant we associate with Western Canada, of course, is cedar. It's the third of four sacred plants to us as indigenous people. And now, of course, we turn to the North. Then we turn to the North and our courage comes forth. Barren landscape or white, we find strength to do right. And when the sun is in the North, and I look there and I know that in the circle of life, all of a sudden, the landscape is white, bear is white, my beard is white. I need the strength to do right for my children, for my grandchildren, and for the kids around us to say, kids, sometimes it's not easy to tell the truth. Truth and reconciliation is not easy. And we'll work at being honest with you so that you can make a better world for yourself and for my great grandchildren. Next, we turn our heads high to our father, the sky, 
and hear beaver advise that we need to be wise. Friends, do you know what happens to beaver if she doesn't work her teeth every day? Uh, they can grow through and she can die. She has the wisdom to use the gift that creator has given her. Do we? Will you grow old and say, you know what I was really good at? You know what I should have done? I could have done. Don't live that life. Do it. Use that gift. And this is my favorite page. We are told to look down. Mother Earth is the ground. She's the tree. She's the snow. Where we're from. Where we'll go. You can be a Christian, a Buddhist, a Muslim. It matters not. She's your mother. You came from her. And when you die, you'll go back to her as my father and my mother have done and my ancestors have done and my children will do. She gave me life and to her. I will return, which is why we respect our mother so much. And then finally, when we look deep inside the seventh teaching, so the four directions of the medicine wheel, up, down, and within. When we look deep inside in our hearts, eagle flies. And she's up there above. She teaches us how to love. Eagle, of course, is our teacher. The color when we look skyward is blue. And when we look in our heart is purple. That's the color we associate with her. And how does it finish? It goes like this. You can learn how to live, when to take, when to give. You will find that it's fun when you learn from the sun. Well, I hope the visuals have worked out. Guests and know that um, Medicine Wheel has gone crazy with our book. They've absolutely gone deep. They have created a series of lesson plans. They've included me in those plans. They've done a coloring thing where kids can actually color the various pictures and add to it. They've, uh, they've built stories on each and every one of the teachings. They've gone absolutely mad. And uh, they're launching the book next, uh, uh, next week on, on June the 4th. If you've not seen it, check it out. It's Medicine Wheel Publishers. And for heaven's sakes, if you haven't linked up to Achilles and Sandra, uh, do that at your earliest convenience. I have to tell you, Use it or lose it. And this is one, one special, special service in Canada that we don't want to lose. Good Minds is there for us. Use it. And thank you for being with us. It's a beautiful day here in Victoria. I don't know where you are. Uh, if it's here in Toronto, I expect it's snowing. Uh, of, who's to say? You know, it comes and it goes. But yeah. it doesn't get any nicer than Victoria. And we don't have any mosquitoes. We had one, and I don't know if you noticed a while ago, but I killed him. Achilles, thank you for including oh, me. You, David, we, ha we have a question. Um... Is the book going to be available in French as well? Oh, certain. Ils sont en train de publier présentement. Je l'ai traduit moi-même. Achilles, what I said to that viewer is that not only is it available, they allowed me to translate it myself. And oh, as we speak, it's at the printers. So it'll be out any day now. On apprend du soleil. And it's absolutely wonderful. Perfect. And, and Good Minds will carry that as soon as it's available? Uh, Good Minds will be the first on the list to carry that the minute it's available. Is there going to be an ebook version as well? Um, that's a really good question. You know, for a lot of these picture books, ebooks have not been a, a big to do. You, Achilles, I have, a, I have a ton of books, and I only have a few that are out as ebooks that have been published by a separate company, and they've done really well. But uh, that, I think for that question, you'd probably want to reach out to Teddy, uh, the publisher at, uh, at, at uh, Medicine Wheel, and find out. Uh, we really not talk about that, but like everything else, it would be great. If it is available, I'll, I'll, I'll post it on our, on our social media and, and let everyone awesome. know. Um, well, thank you so much, David. It was awesome. Thank you. Well, let me add one more word, and that's to all of our listeners to know that Good Minds is there. So if ever you were looking for some support, some ideas about what, what you could offer your kids, man, I can tell you right now that they would be prepared to throw a package together for you and get it out to you wherever you are. That's the way I'd love to see you use them. You know, here's what I've got. I'm working with this age kids. What would you recommend? And at some point, you've got to trust somebody in there. It doesn't get any better than that. So um, to our viewers, I better stop. Our, our, our 2020 catalog, you can call. We'll send you one free of charge. Just let us know. Achilles legend, you're the best. And <laughs> we are so happy to have you in our world. Good luck. Oh, thank you so much. I, I'll say it again. I'll do everything I can. To, and you, Sandra, I'll do everything I can to support you. We need you. Uh, we love having you there and we'll do everything we can to make sure that you stay. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank Be you, great. David. Great, David. That was awesome. Give me a good standard. Good luck. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Is that it?